Hello beautiful people, I present to you the best Nigerian pancakes. If you want to know how I made this, make sure you watch this video till the end, okay? So come with me, let me introduce you to the ingredients for this recipe. So guys, for this recipe, you will need 1 cup of milk, 2 tablespoons of sugar, some blended pepper, 1 and a half cup of all-purpose flour, two eggs half teaspoon of salt some water and lastly vegetable oil for frying so these are the basic ingredients you need for a perfect nigerian pancakes okay so feel free to add or remove any of the ingredients you don't like so guys without wasting much of your time let's get into this video in a bowl, I'm going to beat up the eggs, add a little amount of water, then stir very well until they are properly combined. So after they are properly combined, I'm going to go ahead and add the flour. Like I said earlier, I'm using all-purpose flour to make this pancake, okay? So I'm going to add it now and then stir very well, stir very well so there won't be lump inside. So to achieve this, I'm not going to stir everything at once, I'm going to do it batch by batch, okay? Stir very well, mix it, mix it, mix it very well to so make sure there is no lump inside it. So after they are properly combined, I'm going to add the milk and then stir very well. I'm using a lot of milk because I'm making a lot of pancakes for my family. You can as well use powdered milk if you don't have liquid milk. Just make sure you mix it with water before pouring it into the batter, okay? So make sure you mix, 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 mix until they are properly combined, okay? So guys, can you see how smooth and creamy it looks? This is the way it should be, okay? Just make sure there are no lumps inside. So guys, can you see how creamy and smooth it looks? So I'm adding the last part of the milk. Like I said earlier, I love adding a lot of milk to my pancake, okay? Because it gives it a very great taste so after the milk is properly combined i'm going to add the sugar and then give it a nice stir and after that i'm going to add the pepper and also stir it again and finally i'll add the salt okay So guys, after all the ingredients are properly combined, I'm going to add a little water to it, loosen it up a bit, okay? Then give it a final stir. Next, heat up the pan with some vegetable oil or butter and spread it around. Then pour the butter gradually, okay? Like I said earlier, I'm using vegetable oil to make mine, okay? Just pour it as large as you like it. It's very important you use a non-stick pan to fry your pancake. 
so when it starts bubbling on top with holes that's when you know you are ready to flip it okay. do not press this pancake it's meant to be light and fluffy okay so you're just going to fry it for about two minutes then your pancake is ready so i'm just going to repeat this process again like i said i'm making a lot for my family okay <laughs> So guys, have you liked this video? Have you? Have you? Click on that like button to like this video, please. And also, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, I don't know what you are waiting for. Please click on that red subscribe button below to get subscribed. And also, don't forget to turn on your notification bell. The essence of that bell is that you get updates anytime I upload a new video, okay? Can you see how delicious it looks? You can pair this with chocolate drink, oats or fruits. But me, I like having mine with chocolate drink, okay? So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Please, if you find this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up for me, oh, thumbs up, okay? Share with your friends and leave a comment down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Mm -hmm.